Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a stabilized reverse speed ramp in After Effects. I have shared it before, but in previous tutorial I've shown how to make with multiple keyframes, this tutorial is only about a reversing the speed. So, let's begin. Right click on your clip, go to time and enable time remapping. At the beginning of the clip start moving this time forward until you are happy with the beginning of the speed ramp. Now let's scroll in the end like in my case, or if you edit on a music, simply scroll to next beat drop. Now begin moving this time forward again until you are happy with the ending of a speed ramp. Once you are done, make sure to move that last keyframe in the middle of your clip. Then copy that first keyframe and paste it in the end of your clip. Now select all three keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to Graph Editor, right click here and select, Edit Value Graph. Now simply make a smooth curve like mine. Let's close Graph Editor and check the speed ramp. Nice, but as you see it's not stabilized and it's too shaky, let's fix it easy. First of all make sure to enable frame blending, click here twice until you see an arrow. Now before we begin stabilizing the video, it's important to pre-compose that clip, so, right click on your clip and pre-compose it, make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now scroll to the beginning of the clip and then click on Stabilize Motion. Let's make that track point slightly bigger and move it on a part you want to lock on. In my case it's that wheel, so I will lock on the wheel. Now click on Options and enable Adapt feature on every frame, then hit OK. Now click on Tracking button and wait until it's done. Once it's done tracking, click on Apply and then hit OK. Now we can close the tracking window and now make sure to enable Proportional Grid from here. This will allow us to see the very center of the screen. So now as I said, I want to lock on the wheel, so, I will move the wheel until it's centered, but before let's check if the video is stabilized perfectly. I'm happy with it, before we begin centering, let's press S on your keyboard to open scale, because we are going to fix those black edges by scaling the video. And now let's center the wheel. Let's quickly check it. As you see the wheel is locked on, but now let's scale the video to fix the edges and we are done. After scaling make sure to reposition the video. Everything looks fine to me, but we have left a small black edge down here. In case if you don't want to scale the video more, we can use motion tile effect here. Check mirror edges and change output height to 200. It's fixed and everything looks cool. In case if you will have black edges on one of the sides of the video, make sure to change output width to 200 as well and then you are ready to go. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.